Hey guys, what's up? I hope you guys are taking care of yourself and welcome to this session where we are going to discuss what are the five mistakes which new mutual fund distributors do in their first year of business. Now, whenever we are starting any new venture, any new business, the initial years are most difficult because there are a lot of trial and errors, a lot of efforts goes, a lot of times we do mistakes and then learn from them. John Bogle says we need to learn from others' mistake because it is much cheaper. And today I'm going to discuss with you five common mistakes which mutual fund distributors do in their first year of business so that you can avoid those mistakes. Hello everyone, I'm Shobhit. I'm a financial business growth expert with a mission to help 1 lakh insurance advisors to diversify their business into mutual funds. Thanks for joining in and let's see what are the five common mistakes which most of the new mutual fund distributors do and you can avoid. First thing what you need to remember is you are not into mutual fund distributor business. You are the business. Please remember this is a service industry where you need to create your own identity. You need to be just on your own or you need to have your perspective in the head of your client. Now whenever we are starting any new business what we keep in mind? We keep in mind what are the best practices in the industry is being done. Who are the best in your locality, in your area, in your city? What are they doing and because we are new we just start replicating them. Whatever the, your near and dear ones, your industry colleagues or whatever you gain from your information or from anywhere and everywhere, we just try to implement those things in our own businesses. But please remember we are very distinct to one another. Our clientele, our thought process are very different. You need to create your own identity in terms of what kind of value you are propagating, what kind of transaction or solutions you are providing to your clients. These all are going to have a huge benefit for you in terms of creating your own identity. Now most of the time what I have realized is people or those mutual fund distributors who join the industry, they see who are the big ones in their area with the mindset that they need to have that kind of business. Now if you start with the aim that you want to amass AUM that is asset under management and that is going to be the parameter for your success then you are in a wrong mindset. Please remember gathering the assets which is going to be managed by you is the byproduct of the kind of services which you are going to provide. So if you just want to get more and more business somehow or anyhow, then it is not going to work for you. You need to first establish yourself as a credible figure in the market. And that can only be done if you have your own distinct personality. You need to define yourself for what you want to be known for. Whether you want to be known for somebody who is good at helping new age investors or millennials in meeting their financial goals. Whether you are someone who can help business persons to make them understand the importance of investing in mutual funds. Whether you are someone who can help women to have their own assets. So we need to have a very distinct personality. As I told you, you are the business. Once you realize that one, until unless you create your own identity, you will not be able to succeed in this business, then you can play a longer profitable game. Don't chase what other people are saying, saying or doing. What we need to do, we need to have learnings from those success experience, but at the same time, we need to add our own flavor also on that. You may see there are a lot of people who are, will have a very good, very big SIP size. 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs, 50 lakhs, 1 crore per month SIP book size. 
So you need to see what they are doing, but at the same time, you need to have your own flavor in that. Once you do that, you will be having a very distinct personality in the market and that is going to serve you well in the long run. So please keep this in mind. The other thing is imposition of solutions. I have seen a lot of time once you start your business, you are so hungry to get new business. What we do whenever we are interacting with client, the first thing which we do is we keep on imposing all our thoughts to them. Sir, you don't have retirement plan, you don't have a strategy for education, you don't have a strategy for your children, you don't have a strategy for your children. There are a lot of things which we keep on imposing on client. Our aim is to show them how much we know. Most of the time, when you interact with clients, what is our aim? We want to show how much we know and how much we don't know. The aim should not be to make them nervous. The aim is to make them comfortable. The knowledge which you have, the knowledge which you have, the knowledge which you have, is for you. You have to tell your client how to be helpful for them. So instead of sharing all your gyans, all your thought process, whatever you know, or giving your solutions before understanding what is his requirement, is a wrong line to approach. आपको patiently first client को सुनना है कि वो actually क्या चाहता है. Instead of saying sir आप retirement solution ले लो, आप बच्चों का education के लिए कुछ plan कर लो, आप कोई अपने long term investment के लिए कुछ plan करो. उससे पहले आपको client को empathy दिखाना है. You need to show them that there you are to take care of them. You are there for them to take them to a journey for a longer time period. You understand them. You empathize with them. So that they can correlate with you. They can become comfortable with you. So the, the, your journey should start with understanding them and empathizing with them. Make them comfortable. And once they are comfortable with you, your path will be easy. So always keep in mind, आपको सॉल्यूशन देने से पहले आपको अपने क्लाइंट की जरूरतों को समझना होगा एंड दैट कैन ओनली बी डन इफ यू गिव लॉट ऑफ टाइम क्लाइंट टू स्पीक प्लीज रिमेंबर व्हेन एवर यू आर मीटिंग योर क्लाइंट्स ऑलवेज फॉलो 3070 रूल यू नीड टू स्पीक ओनली 30 परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम 70 परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम क्लाइंट हैज टू स्पीक सो गिव दम चांस टू speak what they want or what they understand about this investment vehicle it is not about what you know it is about how much you want to take care of them so please keep this in mind and then it will be an easy path for you the third mistake which most of us do is we start with a very high cost you need to be very light on your fixed expenses you don't have to open an office until unless it is required. You don't have to hire a person until unless you reach a certain AUM. So until unless you follow an asset-like model, you will not have unnecessary pressure. Suppose you open an office, suppose you hire a guy for pickup application, filling up application and so on and so forth. Then unnecessary आप अपने ऊपर एक प्रेशर डाल रहे हैं कि आपको मिनिमम इतना बिजनेस तो करना ही होगा। अगर आप अपने ऊपर ये प्रेशर डाल लेंगे तो जिस तरह का आप कम्युनिकेशन में क्लाइंट के साथ करते हैं, that will be all together very different because you are always going with the intent that you are going to get some business from him because you require some business to fund your fixed expenses. Now, how I look at this business is you can start your mutual fund business only by paying 3,250 rupees. 1500 rupees you have to give for your exam, which is NISM 5A, and 1750 rupees you have to give for your MP registered number. This is the only expense which you need to pay. Rest everything you can get free of cost. 
your transaction platform, your client servicing platform, and so on and so forth. If you want to start your mutual fund business in a new way, if you want to be a new age mutual fund distributor, which follow a structured path to succeed in this business, then do, do join my master class. I conduct 90 minutes free master class where I am going to take through a journey which can help you in starting your mutual fund business in 21 days or less. So the uh, link is in the description. Do register for that workshop so that you can understand more about this business. So keep your cost low so that you don't put unnecessary pressure on yourself as you need to start generating cash flow from the day one. Please remember this is a low margin but a high volume business. And that can only work out if you are looking at a long term perspective. This is an investment business where you are bringing client for a longer time period. Retirement 20 saal, 25 saal, 15 saal ke baad aani hai. Bacche ka education 8 saal, 10 saal, 15 saal ke baad higher education ke liye jayega. So if that is the case, you first you need to be mentally prepared that this is a long term business and then only you can help your client to invest for a long term. Agar aap sochenge ki mein aaj se hi ek karod ka commission kamane lagu, then you are unnecessarily put, putting pressure on yourself and then you are also putting pressure on your clients because you want the business to come as early as possible. So don't keep this mindset with you because it is unnecessarily going to put pressure and it is going to reflect when you are discussing with your clients. So please understand and then start with the minimum and as your business progresses then you can expand and spend more money. Now the fourth point which I would like to discuss here with you is rationalizing your resources. Now once we start any business we are so full of enthusiasm that we want to go for anyone and everyone. Kahi se business aane do mujhe business chahiye. And in that way, what we are going to do, we are going to run from for anywhere and everywhere. Even for 1000 rupees SIP, we are going to spend 2-3 hours traveling. Because what we want, we want the experience, we want to get the kit that we are into this business. So you don't have to be like that. You need to have a cost benefit analysis. It means you need to understand that how, to, to which client how much you need to spend. You need to understand that whatever time you are spending that is also a form of money. So whenever you are putting any effort in terms of time or your fiscal effort you need to see what kind of outcome you can get from the client. Suppose you are meeting a client which is 25 or 30 years of age and the expectation from him is you getting 5 or 10 lakhs of business in the first uh, go, then that is a wrong expectation. So in that case, you can't give 4 or 5 hours of a whole day to mobilize that business. Please understand being busy is not being productive. If you think that if you are busy, then you are doing a good job. This is a wrong mindset. Hai. In this business, knowledge is currency. आप जितना ज्यादा पढ़ेंगे जितना ज्यादा सीखेंगे वही आपका धन है सो इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग फॉर अ 1000 रुपीस एसआईपी एंड स्पेंडिंग 3 आवर्स मीटिंग क्लाइंट एंड मोबिलाइजिंग दैट बिजनेस यू कैन स्पेंड दैट टाइम ऑन लर्निंग न्यू रिसोर्सेस न्यू इनसाइट्स व्हिच कैन हेल्प यू व्हेन यू आर मीटिंग सम न्यू क्लाइंट सो प्लीज कीप दिस एस्पेक्ट इन माइंड दैट यू नीड टू रैशनलाइज योर रिसोर्सेस in terms of your time, in terms of the money which you are spending. My dad said that you should not do business with your own money. It means you need to have a cost benefit analysis in mind. Whatever you are spending, whether it is worthwhile or not, to get the result from those investments. If you think the cost benefit analysis is not good, you need to put your effort in a, in a better manner. So I hope you are able to rationalize with this. If you are able to get insight 
as what you should not do and what you should do just type yes in the comment box i want to see how many of you are able to get insight with this now the last thing which i would like you to understand is please understand that you can't gain much knowledge only if you are on your own you need to start networking within the industry and outside industry also it means you need to start within the industry which means mutual fund industry whoever is there in your area in your city start searching for them and start meeting them get in touch with them and then you can gain from their experience at the same time you need to meet other brokers distributors of other products please remember you can always have a symbiotic relation with them suppose you are in touch with any real estate broker then you can get some leads for him and he can get you some leads so this way you need to start exploring and networking with as many people as possible we are worth only the people we know so we need to if we want to increase our network then we need to start networking with more and more people so i hope you guys got some insight as what mistakes you need to avoid to start your mutual fund distribution business and a good note now if you want to learn more insights if you want to start your business in a modern way if you want to become a new age mutual fund distributor then i am conducting a 90 minutes free workshop in which i am going to show you what you can do to start your mutual fund distribution business in a scientific modern way in 21 days or less the joining link for that workshop is in the description i would love to see you in that workshop just register for the workshop and then i am going to meet you live there if you like the content then do comment and share with your family and friends please share with whom it can make an impact those who are looking to start a new business with a low investments and uh, have a inten intention to help people in meeting their financial goals then this is a very good business proposition we are have a motive to change the way how india invest if you share the same value system if you want to have a same intention to help your clients to meet their financial goals i would love you to join our community thanks for watching be in touch and i am going to see you next time